Sunday morning. Just coming up for, I don't know, because my Fitbit's on charge. About half ten, something like that. It's already warm. What a beautiful day. So I've decided I'm going to go up what I'm calling Kitchen Windy Hill. It's this hill just here. Because you can see it from our Kitchen Windy. And I've wanted to go up it for a long time. I keep looking at it out the Kitchen Windy and wondering how you get up there. So hopefully today I'm going to find out. So I've loaded up my backpack. It's quite heavy. About two litres of water plus a flask with a half litre of coffee. I want to get used to carrying weight just to see how it feels on a reasonably simple walk. I mean, I'm estimating maybe four hours tops to get up there and back. So yeah, and it's very close to the house. I can walk there obviously from the house. I don't have to drive anywhere so it should be good and the weather's going to be great today. I'll make sure I've got my got my sunblock on already, it's going to be roasting. Which is why I'm carrying two litres of water, because that's a steep climb. Not sure of the height, but I'll keep you posted through the day and let you know how it goes. So, last cup of coffee before we go, and then... Sorry, this girl can't go, she's desperate to go. But she's just not fit enough anymore, and that makes me really sad. You poppy. You want to come, don't you? Mm. You want to come? Oh, makes me really sad. The other reason for a walk close to home is because... <laughs> it'll be the first long walk with my new boots on, so... Yeah, I don't want to be far from home with new boots on. Okay, here we go, 10.45, start time. Just leaving the house, heading down the hill, setting the tracker, using the View Ranger app. So I should have a GPX file at the end, which I can then bring up onto the map. And maybe put that in at the end of this and you can see where I've just been. Nice. Here's a nice view of the hill. So I'm follow that farm track to Glen Kiln and then see if I can find a way up. <laughs> That's me an hour in. <coughs> Get the views behind me. About 240 metres and it's been roadway all the way. It's funny because you know I live well three kilometres away from this exact spot and I've never walked up this path. It's about time isn't it? Well the peak that I want to get up is over there so I'm going to be following this road. I don't know how long it stays as a road but a fair bit anyway. I think that's going to help me out a lot and then I can follow that ridge I think to the peak and hopefully there's a cairn at the top in fact I can see a cairn in the hill beyond I think and if you turn this way the walk that I do from my house which takes me to the edge of the forestry path where it stops at a fire break I believe I could well I know I could because I've just looked at the map if I follow the fire break to the edge of those trees, I can get to this path. So I could end up with a, a circular walk, which would be amazing. Without having to do the peak, I could come up there to this path and back down. Do a nice, probably about what, 10k, something like that. 
that would be amazing. So, having a great day. You hear the cuckoo. So it's leveled out a bit. I think I've reached the height. That's Kitchen Windy Hill over there. If you come around here, this is Ty Vane, which I went up in 2016, I think, when I walked to Kilmory for charity from Brodick. And uh, it was windy as up there, chucking it down with rain and boggy wet heather. It was brutal. But that's Kitchen Windy Hill, so I'm still, believe it or not, on a on a farm track so I believe it's going to hopefully take me to that ridge I can follow that ridge along it's going to be quite a long walk so as the crow flies to get to the top of the hill it's a kind of roundabout way but it's a nice way it's fairly straightforward following the path and sharing it with a little sheepage there's loads of sheep up here so we've reached Kenny Bones Hydro plant. I guess it's water cleansing. I remember reading something about it in the local paper. So that explains the track all the way to here. Now the track stops and we're into boggy, boggy heather. So walking poles out and then heading that direction. Going to get my gaiters on. More for the ticks than the than the mud because it's quite dry, in fact dangerously dry if there was a if there was a fire up here it would go up like a tinder box but the ticks I'm worried about so I'm going to put my gaiters on just to keep them from going up my trouser legs Approaching the cairn You ready for this? You just can't beat that. You just can't beat it. It's been a good walk. I'm thinking of going back a different way down the shoulder. Views up here are pretty good. I can't see my house. I can't see my kitchen window. <laughs> I suppose if I had a telescope, maybe I could. But it's nice. I'm just chilling. Had a sandwich, cup of coffee. socks a wee bit. The boots have been good. They've been good. No blisters, no pain in my toe. They are a little big, which I suppose I'll find out on the way down. But they've been all right. I'm not in any pain and I've climbed a fair bit, so that's a win. A big win. Just leaving the peak, 
quarter past two. I'm going to head down a different way, so we'll see how that goes. Should be a bit quicker than it was coming up the long way round. Having a great time here taking photographs of the house. I just had my wife and the kids on Messenger saying that they could see me from, from the kitchen window with binoculars. They're waving a white sheet at me, but I can't see them because I don't have binoculars. But it's, yeah. The circle is squared. This is a big bucket list thing ticked. It's been amazing. I'm going to head down shortly. The views of Lamlash from up here are fantastic. Amazing. Let's be back on the farm track. I've walked 10 kilometers. It's about another kilometer or so to my house. But I'm done. We're just coming up to the place where I split off this morning from the farm track to head up the track. And I've come down the shoulder of the hill, which was much easier, much quicker, and brought me out at Glen Kiln Farm, which is the owner, where the owner of all the farmland and hills lives. So here's the pathway here. That's where I turned off this morning. It's taken me just coming up on five hours, I think. I just checked and I've forgotten. I think it's about five hours, all in for 10 kilometers. That's with lots of sitting around taking pictures and film and photographs and having lunch and chilling. It's been amazing. Anyway, a successful day. I've enjoyed it a lot. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me on the journey. If you'd like to see more Aaron content, you know what to do. <laughs> Thanks everybody. See you all in the next video. Bye for now.